Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will uh, try to well hey happy new year yes that's good I hope everybody come into the new year here uh, without any <coughs> accident or so now I will try to actually find out if the uh, the buttons I mean the buttons on the back here of my Nikon D800 is not working. At some point they actually came back to life and uh, so I think hmm, maybe there is an issue in there. So um, I was thinking okay uh, I put in a memory card I uh, format the, the the camera I reset the camera everything is, is and I change the memory card to something else this is just a small one it doesn't really matter but um, I would like to see if uh, if there is something I mean I have uh, tried all the buttons here and I think okay they feel okay nothing wrong there but there is at the uh, multi-function button here there's something if I press down here it uh, respond in a different way uh, if we compare to the other section of this uh, button so they think maybe I don't know maybe someone else have an, um, an uh, idea of what could be the problem in here but um, and it doesn't really matter if the clock is not uh, uh, adjusted it doesn't really matter it should work as I see it but we need some tools at least uh, two different kind of uh, JIS remember it's a Japanese camera so we want to work with JIS screwdrivers it could be so some of those but uh, I mean there are many different brands but these are I'm really happy with those um, a pair of tweezers different kind a rubberized uh, ends here uh, self-made and another um, modified <laughs> uh, tweezer which is really handy and maybe a, uh, just a straight one Maybe a dentist tool uh, could be very handy, just like this. It's really good to lift up the the locks on the um, flex cables uh, connectors. But uh, let's jump into it. There are some screws around here, at least uh, those two here on the side. It's not really necessary to unscrew those two, uh, but if you like, uh, maybe maybe if we go in to take out the main board out there are some screws underneath here uh, which we need to need to take out and uh, we can just undo the rubber thingy here and uh, see what's underneath and at least uh, this one this one this one this one because the whole button has to be taken off and there is also one here here and if we look under the hood <laughs> the battery cover uh, there is one here and there's one here and we can just take off I mean I could just show you how yeah there is also two on the back here and on the side here and if uh, if we have to take off the uh, side this part here uh, I would think we also need to take that out uh, and it sits with two screws there and there and there is another one under the rubber here in the corner yeah. where the thumb grip is and you can see it here there it's not necessary to take off the viewfinder um, and uh, yeah 
let's jump into it and uh, I will simply begin with the with the bottom part here and get all those screws out um, yeah need to arrange them then in a way so you can find the screws again um, no, what I'm missing. <laughs> okay, the uh, if I turn on the camera, it's uh, on manual, so I can move the the back wheel, and I can be, move the front wheel. And if I want to change something, um, let's see what can be changed here. Hmm, not really much. Uh, but if I put a lens, I mean, I know it works. Uh, what could be changed? If I put a lens on, could it change something? Just so we can see the wheel is working. Yeah, you can see the wheels, front wheel is working. Um, just need to have the cap on here. So, but the, uh, the play button or the viewing button and the... Uh, trash the menu nothing is working even the info but the live view is actually working so if we do so you can see it changed no matter how if i set it to camera or uh, recording videos and um, the multi-function button no matter if I lock it, it doesn't really matter. It, um, but the thing, there is something that reminds me. If I set it to live view, look what's happened. Nothing. Um, nothing. Nothing at all. If I set it to there, nothing is working. So it's it's a, a weird thing that um, but if I set if I mean if I look into the viewfinder it seems like the uh, the function button here is working because I can uh, move the little square in here in the viewfinder so something is working um, uh, then I think that is uh, interesting no matter how it's set to camera or to to video recording so that's interesting so something is working and I get it to work at some point uh, just put in a camera and uh, uh, <laughs> sorry put in a lens memory card and take a picture and then it works but next time and then I switch it off and the uh, it doesn't it did not work hmm so but uh, I think it's weird now let's move on and uh, see if it's can hopefully working out with the battery uh, and the memory card Oop. out with that and just begin with the with the bottom screws here Um, and then when the button is off, uh, it's possible to actually take the, the whole bag off here. Uh, and you think, okay, there are four screws here, it's only for the tripod mount. So don't think about take that out. It will not do any difference. So there, and off this. Yeah, we can also take the battery lid off. So, and there are three screws here. Let's 
good with a magnetized screwdriver, so it will help a lot to when unscrew those. And it's quite easy to make your your screwdriver magnetized just if you have a magnet. So all for that. So now the bottom button is uh, ready to take off. Should be not that difficult. And here we are inside. The thing is, uh, I think the camera has been dropped on a hard surface, uh, as I remember, because I get it for free. So, uh, yeah, there's no, I cannot miss anything. I mean, <laughs> lose anything if I get it to work. Or one have to buy new spare parts. So two screws on the side here, and uh, we're going to do so there. So there, and there's one under the rubber here on the thump uh, resting point. And that's the only screw that is under the rubber in this case. So there, and there are two screws more in here and here. So there. And uh, I think I will also take the two screws out here, uh, just in case I need to get that part out. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I don't, I really don't know what to expect um, if of course, I have, I've taken a sneak peek inside uh, just to see if there was anything I could do, but uh, it doesn't seem that there was not really anything uh, wrong in a way. Now, lift off the lift off off the uh, the back, the whole back here, and be careful because there are some. Oh yeah, the light is. Not good, but you see all the flex cables, uh, you really have to take care of them and not pull too much in the connectors and so. I mean, everything here looks fine. Uh, so we'll just unhook the, the long one here, just flip it up there. And there is also another one up here and remember those plastic locks are really fragile, so you really have to work carefully. So there, and there is a thinner one up here. So, and now it's free to pull off. So, and this big one. So this is how it looks inside. Um, I think I will need to take off this cover here and uh, possibly take off the this uh, area here on the back. I don't know yet, but because something is actually working, if we look into the viewfinder. Um, so what's uh, what the problem is? I don't know. We can also take off the um, yeah the the 
uh, metal the screen here the shell here and it sits with three screws nothing special about that you'll see there there ah four screws sorry and there and uh, the last one here and then we can take a look on the main board so I just want to have the screws arranged in a way so it'll be more easy to put them back in again it's just my way of working uh, maybe you have a different way so there and uh, there is down here you see this little part here this is a kind of a uh, what do you say a connector for the for the shield here which we can actually put on and they will make a connection to the shell here now if we look here uh, everything actually looks fine um, but I think it's weird that the that the uh, view button and the trash button does not work maybe they are connected to some way under here but um, and I take a look on the on the the main board the soldering and the components and it look it doesn't look like there is any loose uh, component and I also check the the different connectors here but it's not, it doesn't seem that it, there is uh, not anything wrong in a way and also down here uh, everything looks like it should uh, there is something here that is maybe out of alignment could be this one here it was a little out of uh, in a different angle uh -huh. uh, yeah I don't know I will just take a little break and take some notes about it yeah okay I um, had a break and uh, I took a closer look into the camera and um, I actually found out that there are some options uh, if we look at these uh, flex cables I mean I actually tried to I mean before I made these this video I actually tried to use a uh, glass brush contact cleaner brush uh, on those um, uh, flex cable here but it uh, it didn't help so I was actually very deep into the camera I was under those uh, two buttons here especially this one because um, when I turn on the camera um, it goes into viewing mode of uh, what there was a picture on the on the memory card so I think okay if I can come in here behind this button on the little circuit board in here flex cable uh, I might find something and I actually did um, so now the the yeah <laughs> you will see um, but I also um, took the whole main board off and go into the front here uh, take care of the capacitor it's really big so um, just in case you would you would like to dig uh, deeper into the camera but um, and we can actually do it so 
and uh, I need to take off this uh, part here this uh, the right side of the camera off for that and um, so we can see here uh, I mean I need to take off the the whole top cover and go um, under here somewhere <laughs> yeah but let's dig into it it's not that hard just remember one thing that we really need to do uh, when working this uh, kind of equipment it's actually you have to um, what you say self self earth it yourself in a way and it will be with a uh, even if you have gloves on I think it's better to just do it uh, so you not damage anything now let's go uh, I will take off the whole main board uh, because I also have an idea of over here not this one or this one or this one but under here this uh, this really big flex cable here uh, you see here it's go from here to all the way over here it has a huge connector I mean big connector I would like to see if there is a bad connection but I don't think I think it's more the this button here that makes the whole <coughs> uh, yeah not working thingy so we take off the flex cables here and uh, it's good about it um, dentist tool you can get them in many different types and but this one is really really good working with uh, those connectors and we also have to take this off and be careful with this not just using a screwdriver to to dig under it it has to be done really uh, really carefully so you just dig under it and gently lift it up and it will pop free so there it is and uh, I should be able to lift it up in that way now we also take this off because this connector here is actually the connection to the top uh, board I mean the top uh, cover with all the connection and um, I, yeah I have to take it away uh, off anyway and this one here also lifted up gently and with the big connector here uh, you just dig under it and in the middle of it just gently pop it up use very very little force uh, it's plastic and it's rather it's actually a pretty fragile I use a rubberized uh, uh, tracer uh, homemade it's a plastic coat clear plastic coat uh, which I actually have uh, spread on uh, very many times so it's uh, actually really good it's uh, quite sticky so we can get this off here and lift it up came free and it's here and this connector too it's better to use the the uh, dentist tool for that just grab it so it's free and there uh, yeah we can also take this up here just gently lift it up and it pops free and also the the uh, connector here for the sensor just lift it up that's it and uh, there is actually not any more uh, connectors here we need to take off um, so I can just unscrew the nah, not yet I'll take off the left side of the camera here behind there is the lid here there's sitting two screws so we also need to take them off and um, yeah, 
comes off here and position uh, I mean arrange the screws as you <laughs> um, would like to see it when you assemble it so you can find them it's way more easier in my opinion then uh, you just put them in a plastic bag or uh, in a small container remember there's no service manual for this one you just can get I mean I haven't found it so maybe you, if there is somebody <clears throat> somebody out there that could uh, find it that would be nice now we cannot lift it up off yet but um, I need to take off the, the uh, rubber coating here and it's uh, quite uh, actually good quality you, you can just pull it off it sits, sits with uh, some sticky tape so it should be not that hard to take off now behind here something like that uh, there is the capacitor so um, when this uh, cover here is undo uh, we need to have a tool to discharge the real well charged uh, capacitor there are two screws here that hold the cover and um, Take it off here. So, and then you can pull it off. It's better you just lift up in here in the lid, and then it's free. Now, to something that can be pretty dangerous uh, for some people, and um, this is the capacitor here. You see, it's quite big so and to discharge it you do not just take a tweezer or screwdriver or whatever and simply make a short circuit circuit no no you can damage something so um i actually a long time ago made me a tool which is based on a, a neon small neon lamp neon lamp <laughs> control lamp and uh, a resistor um, one kilo ohm or so could be 1.3 kilo ohm and the the resistance should be six watt it's uh, pretty much that and uh, it's soldered together so in parallel and uh, I have made another video about this so you can find it on my channel um, but the thing is uh, when I have a uh, neon lamp in there is no direct connection between the two uh, wires or terminals on the capacitor so um, it should be quite easy to just uh, make the discharging process but I will just do something here to just get uh, maybe it's not the best I can use a curtain but here to expose the two terminals in here and have and there is something like 300 volt volt on this one also so I simply take the uh, the neon lamp here and put it on and it should give a small uh, light up I know it's difficult to see but uh, it should be possible mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's done so, um, and what to do else? Uh, well, I can, <laughs> I think it's fully discharged, but uh, I can just try to see if it's fully charged. 
discharge, uh, which I think it is. It is fully discharged. So, you can see this tool, which is really good, is uh, the lamp is actually an old one from a stove uh, in the kitchen, uh, electric one. So I just took it and, and it's good, easy to make. Uh, then we can continue. And there's one thing <laughs> I forgot uh, in the early disassembling. This yellow thingy, plastic thingy for the battery needs to also come off. And if you remember how it sits, see the end of the spring is connected to the yellow part, but it's also sit under, I don't know if I can show it. The other end is sitting here against this part of the, the aluminium. So it's quite easy to put on. We can just lift it off and turn it a little and pull the whole thing out. So it will sit like this. Just so we are sure about that. This end is going to the, the body of the camera and the short end is going into the, come on, here. Um, is going into the the little pin here so it will be undoing by this way here is it possible hmm. difficult with the gloves on e. okay <laughs> I hope you get it. Uh, so it'd be something like that, and you just put it under it, and then it there. So that's fine. And where to put it somewhere over here? So I know where things is. Now to continue. Um, yeah, we'll take the, off the uh, the main board because I would like to come into that connector here. Uh, it's not really diff uh, possible with the, with the top cover on. You cannot lift out these, this uh, flex cable here. It's quite stiff. So, off with that. And two screws here. And there should not be anything else. So now I can actually lift out the uh, the main board, and it should be free on the connectors, different connector. Ah, sorry, <laughs> I forgot something. The microphone uh, here also need to be disconnected. Well, it's maybe easier when the main board is off. So I should be able to take it out and then it's free. And then I can undo the, the microphone here. So there. And now we have the main board here. So this is how it looks. That's the internal memory battery, um, and that's it, actually. Looks pretty fine. I know this camera has been dropped, but what I don't know is uh, how hard or something. I don't know. So now we're here. This is the, the sensor board, uh, which I will not take up take off and this uh, CF um, memory card slot uh, which I will not take off but I need to go into the um, 
to under here. So what I will do is uh, take out a screw down here and begin to take off the front cover here. And by doing, uh, maybe it's easier to just, hold on a second. I'll take out the screws here on the back, uh, <laughs> I mean on the front. Um, and there's also screws underneath the uh, the flash contact here. So there, there, and uh, we will just arrange them in a way so I can find them again. See, let's so. And I will also take off the the top here. Just press the button, and there are two of them here. So all for those. <coughs> it's pretty well built. This camera. Now, nothing to do mere, more here. Uh, there, there is a button screw here too, which uh, also need to come off. And it should be that here. It's there. If you sometimes see something here, it's my med my head uh, manic manifestation. I mean, <laughs> to magnify uh, is a magnify uh, head uh, glass or something, which is pretty good for that. Uh, now, also on the back, I mean on the front here. There is uh, a screw here. Hope for that. And it sits there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there is uh, not really anything under here. I thought there was. I mean, <laughs> but we need to go under it anyway. Nothing here. Now, I think it's pretty much that. No. Uh, I'll take off the side here, the, the handle. And um, there's a screw here on the back. It sits here. And there are two of them. And also the button screw in here, which you can see there. Yeah. And there it is. So now I should be able to pull off this part here, which is the whole front section. Mm, I think there is not any more. Uh, no, I think it should be able to pull it off. Yeah, so it is, as I remember. <laughs> So now you can pull it off and remember there's a little tiny flex here behind and we need to pull it up a little then and uh, simply before I actually do that I set <laughs> I set a mark here 
uh, on the side of it so you uh, well one will be able to actually remember which side should it sit on just to be sure because when putting it in could it it could be sitting in a different way but so it is all for that and um, now we are facing the uh, we're looking into take off the front I mean the top cover which is held in place by some screws here this one this one here and there's one here and one here on the side and also three here on the back there 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 and I think I will also just take off the uh, the viewfinder uh, thingy just to get rid of it and it sits with the screw on the top of the viewfinder off of that and so here we are now let's walk <laughs> closer into it um, and uh, where is it here okay starting somewhere I will just dial on the back here with the three screws <coughs> and uh, they are smaller the different sizes uh, those on the side here and uh, this side here is different from the back here here and here they are smaller those three and also those on the front here and here they are kind of uh, countersunk uh, with a more flat head just so you remember yeah, mm, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes it is not so easy to work with the gloves. So, off with that. Uh, arrange them in a way so it's easy to find. So it must be something like that. The screw on the side here, which is bigger. So, and there is one here on, which is also a bigger uh, screw. there and uh, there's nothing else here on the back so we can just continue on to the front and there is sitting a screw here and one here so there and that should be all now uh, to take off the the actual top which should be loose at the moment uh, as I remember there shouldn't be anything else uh, have I forgot something no should not be anything else Sure, I forgot. The um, 
Uh, the viewfinder uh, diopter uh, also need to come out because this uh, they're sitting a screw that goes into the adjustment thingy here and when you pull it out and turn it and pull it in again well you take off the uh, the little lit uh, where is it tweezer here take this uh, I think I'll take this here you dig under it and uh, lift it up gently fire it off that's it and now there is sitting a tiny screw here which we just unscrew and take out the whole the whole plastic thingy here oh, come on little fellow as you can see there is a little screw that go through it that's it now uh, be careful when you take off the top cover the um, the wires the black and red and black wire here are from uh, is connected in a way to the capacitor uh, circuit board it's actually connected up to here I think and the the wires from the capacitor to um, to somewhere up here to the flash I think uh, I cannot remember but uh, we'll take it off now and uh, gently lift it off and so there is oh there and here we are actually so this is how it looks inside a d800 um, on the top and if we look on the uh, onto the very top inside the top <laughs> of the uh, main body um, see here the uh, wires for the uh, flash oh, I just need to go around and so it's much easier to work that way so we can have it here and um, what I did yeah uh, I actually dig under this um, this circuit board here which is uh, also ha uh, having the the view and the trash button connected to it but it's also connected to the to the I don't know what the name of it this um, multi uh, <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know what it's called but it doesn't matter you know you can probably see it in the video but uh, the chain for the uh, single picture uh, continues low high and quiet and mirror up and, and time and all those but it's hold in place by one screw in here under some way under here so going into those two uh, buttons you need to take off this circuit board here which I will do and there is another one um, uh, we can see it here a connector here which I can just lift uh, better with a dentist tool so you just lift it up there and it's it's um, where's my tracer here so we can just pull it out that's it now oh. two screws holding in place and the thing is that it could be I don't know 
uh, it could be when uh, working with all those uh, circuit boards and flex cables and connectors um, maybe it's the the working with those thingy um, it could be that have solved the problem but um, what I think yeah. behind here I will not take it off but but um, it's held in place by screw there there but um, you actually need to un uh, to take out the this uh, this lock here that prevent the uh, wheel here from moving you need to take it out anyway and also uh, take out the screws here uh, which you can see there there and there and also the screw here in the middle you need to take that out to get into the circuit board here the flex cable um, and uh, you can you can see the circuit board and I took off the plastic and the and go directly into the uh, to the uh, the button uh, I mean the the contact but it seems like it was the case that the to solve the problem. So now we go all the way back to uh, what it was and um, say that's all fine for now. Uh, so there. So just this is actually just to give you some inspiration of what could it be in your camera. Um, it could be a different thing, but uh, this is what just what solves the problem in my camera. And uh, there's sitting with a screw, and it goes in here. And it should come on here. Oh yeah. That was weird. Yeah. There's a little guide pin here. Uh, you can see this one here goes into the hole here. And there is also a the uh, I mean the shell here the metal shield is also uh, interfering here <laughs> okay it helps so on with that and then, then we go all the way back to what it was So, and now on with the, uh, this flex cable here. And then put it back. So the connector is working fine. And then, uh, let's see if we do it that way. I think I will just do that. And it was a bit uh, complicated to get this uh, wire here, those two wires here, um, into the so I could get the top cover on. But I think I figured out it should go that way here, and 
those two wires going from the flash capacitor, it goes through here. So now I should be able to put on the... Uh, hold on a second. What I was thinking of it was actually the reason what I took off the main uh, the top cover it's the flex cable here and there is actually something on this one so piece of paper and a glass brush because it seems like there is something on here and it's just a small amount of something and maybe it's the case that will work I don't know but there was something on <clears throat> so now we should be able to put it on the top cover and uh, we also have to have the this uh, part here over here and then put the top cover on let's see here should be that way If we look at to the front here, mm -hmm. what's going on here? Phone, two wires there, and uh, yeah, that's all fine. And then we go all the way back. So And this one here. I mean, it's not that complicated to to disassemble. I mean, the the way they made this uh, camera is actually pretty good. What was it here? there that's and those three screws here it goes onto the back and there's no cable that is uh, um, sitting wrong Here. 
So, now the screw for the diopter. And it should sit correct. Uh, if you look here, there is uh, a little, not a pin, but there is, you see, it's not on this side here. There's something, and it has to go into the uh, plastic thingy. So I just want to take out the. No, it's, I think it's not necessary. Maybe it's just easier to take out the screw and put this in and uh, put it in here catch the the position where it has to sit maybe yeah I think it may be just easier to put in the screw oh shit <laughs> Maybe it's just easier to put it on here. So, and then rearrange the. So, yeah, it cannot move. So it's just e easier to um, to put it on in that way. And here, there is also on the uh, cover. There is a little gap. I also have to go into the the um, to the diopter adjuster thing, and then put it on. So that's it. And uh, what else to do? Uh, yeah, just the front, the whole front section comes on here and remember the uh, the little tiny flex cable here was uh, has a little mark on it which I set before I took it apart and just put it in here into the connector Hmm. So, and then press down the the little black thingy as it says click. So you can see the little black thingy here. So now I can uh, simply put the front cover on. Uh, there shouldn't be any bigger problems. Just slide it in. And uh, what else? Yeah, I can just begin with the, the screws on the button. So we have things in place. Say that. So there and there are two here on the front. And here. So there, and there is one here on the side. See this? So there, and uh, we can also take those two screws. Yeah, yeah. That was the thing I did before because <laughs> that's good to know. Uh, just so we, uh, I mean, the one is perfect. So, the button here for the flash uh, needs to be put in correct. And what I did, I just put it on. 
and um, I mean first time I went into the camera I just put it on and think okay it doesn't work but one have to be careful about the uh, the little pin that isn't in here so we'll just take it off again ah put a screw here so and now see the little can we get it loose should be able to do that Mm -hmm. Okay, have to come loose so we can show what's happened. See, this little pin here, um, if I can lift up, this little pin here, it has to be, I mean, in a way when you put it in, have it, uh, the orientation is here, uh, in that way here, because it press on this button here to pop up the flash. This is why you have to turn the camera away from it, I mean the opposite direction, and then slide in the, the cover here, and in that way it will work. Now. Sorry for that, but uh, yeah, that's good to know all those uh, things that can go wrong when you work with that kind of stuff here. So just continue. Oh, I need to change battery for this. Just do it in a short time. There and the screw here uh, inside the battery chamber. Uh, we also need to put this on here so it's uh, on the side here. There are some guide pins here in, in here. Which I can see there is something it's not there. See the two guide pins here. Um, just need to press them in if it's possible. Ah, uh, hmm, it fell off. Okay, it's here, it doesn't really matter just a tiny pin but the other one is still there so you can get it on here oh. so and we can put the screw into the battery chamber hmm. I know it's difficult to see but it sits there so and then the two screws that's hold here on the back the other one and so well so we are closer to what it was. That's good. And just uh, where's my tweezer? Where is it here? We just need to have the wires here uh, going around here, so they will not uh, go in a wrong place. something like that and also the 
two wires for the capacitor. They just have to go down here and sit there. That's all fine. And we can also put the uh, the cover on here with the two screws. So and there and. Uh, yeah, there was two screws here. And it goes here. So. And we can also take the viewfinder and put it in. No problem with that. Just so. And this one. So, wow, it looks better. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, the main board uh, comes in. Um, I think it will be just doing so. And uh, of course, I could have put the uh, the connectors on. But um, I think it will be all fine to just do it in that way here. Uh, let's see if it will go, hopefully. Hmm. Yeah, I can see I should have put the main board all on before but I think it will be I think it works actually hmm. just catch the connector here and we'll get it in In that way and close the connector hmm oh that's all fine and then the sensor comes in so it is and it's correct in place now close the connector. Mm. So, and now, okay, we are almost there. Yeah, you see, it would have been easier if I put the main board on first and then put in the side here. But, well, sometimes you figure it out when you, <laughs> on your way back to bring in stuff again. We also need to take those uh, flex cable here out, out, and also this one in here. Put this on here hmm. wow so 
Now it says where it should. And those uh, two screws, that's it's here. And this one, and yeah, then we have two screws here on the side, which will also come in. Um, let's see what to do. Yeah, and we will. A screw over here. Hmm. This one. And there are two of them. That sits in here. So this one. Phew. Now we are almost there. <laughs> so on with this uh, connector here just press it gently down and we also need to put in the uh, the two I mean the small connector here for the microphone uh, yeah I should have done it before but I think we'll make it should be able to do that Okay, someone sometimes you have to do it in a different way. <laughs> uh, yeah, not easy. But have to do it. So there it is, sitting where it should. Now, uh, and this one sits okay there. And this, uh, this, this special thingy here also have to be uh, just press on gently. It has to say click in a way, tiny click. And this connector goes also on here. Click and uh, this one goes on here. Oh, I can see I need to change battery, so I'll see you soon. And then we continue. So, uh, new battery, and then we just go. Now, put in those uh, flex cables here. And be sure they sit deep into the connector. Also this one over here. I'll close a little. Hmm. So there. And close it. And this one too. So it is, and then close it. And this one over here also have to go in. I have no idea what the different connectors going to and so because of course I do not have a repair manual for this camera. Now um, what else? This the seal here comes on. Mm, everything is okay, fine. This come on here. The 
Let's take care of the wires. So, so there will be no short circuit or so. And here. So it will be interesting if it still is working. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one side here, here it is. Okay, there it comes in here. In, in that way you pull it I mean you put it under here so in that way and be careful of the different gaps that sits uh, so that things come in place where is it he And there are some screws that hold it. Some, but something out here. Two of them. And uh, so there. And I have to re-glue this one with the, some self, I mean, double side uh, adhesive tape. But it's not really. No, and not. We have to wait a little with that. Um, uh, yeah. And not to forget the two screws here on the, on the flash. They also have to come in. So we know where things should sit. And then there. And it works. Fine. Then we can go on to the back here and <clears throat> and actually put the the back side here i mean the back on here uh with the three connectors here sorry for the not so good like how to do that um, we can put something under here so we better can see <clears throat> so put on the connectors and i also use the the glass brush on those here and there and uh, on this uh, small one here uh, and I think it I mean what's actually uh, exactly was uh, solved the the problem I don't know but uh, the flex cable looks a bit um, what do you say uh, with some stuff on but of course, I don't know the camera's uh, story, actually. So, and this one goes in here. And then we are actually done, in a way. So let's see. Now the back uh, will come on. And just check everything it's fine it looks fine yeah 
Okay. Now it'll be very interesting to see if it oh if it still works. I get it to work at first. <laughs> I mean, uh, when I when it was uh, disassembled. So let's see if it will happen again. Hmm. Well, if not, uh, well maybe I'll find out later. Hopefully this video can help uh, someone else uh, instead of just send it to repair somewhere where they said, hmm, no, it's not repairable. Well, so on with that screw and uh, so there. Then we need the other screws over here on the side. And so there, there, there. And I can just put this on again, the rubber thingy. <coughs> And with a help from a dentist tool with a spade on, or you could also use a screwdriver maybe. So there and the FX uh, label here, sign. Yeah, it needs some sticky tape after this. So there. Now it looks like a camera, <laughs> but will it work? <laughs> Let's see. Mm. 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 A very short moment. I think you're ex excited like I am, uh, just to see <laughs> if it would work. Uh, well, now the uh, bottom cover, and especially the uh, the little yellow thingy here, and uh, you just put it on here with a spring on, and. Uh, let it go against here. Let's see if we can do it. So it sits like there. Now then you just lift it up a little. So it's still on the yellow thingy. And I mean it worked before. So there and move it in over and press it down and then it sits where it should. <coughs> now the bottom cover comes on and we just check everything is fine. Yeah. So there this. Oh. Come on, only one screw at a time. <laughs> this one goes here and this long fellow. Goes where it should here. This one goes here, and this one here. Are you excited? <laughs> Me too. So there, and 
Finally we are, wow, what a week, what a long journey. And I have done it twice, <laughs> actually. So just to figure out how to get into it and what possibly could be the, the thing that was wrong. So, and then we need some battery. So, now will it, will it explode or something? Hmm. Okay, there's life. Let's put in a memory card. Oh, something is working. Now, <clears throat> Uh, just take off the lid and let's uh, have some light into the sensor. Uh, open this one, uh, doesn't seem, turns on. Okay. Yeah. You can see it actually working. I can go into the menu and all that stuff. Wow. <laughs> can I take some photos? Yes, there's only light, I know, but it actually working. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. So <laughs> even if I've done it twice, so um, yeah, that's actually a big success. So um, hope you can hope you enjoy the info about this uh, a bit complicated repair. So. Bye for now, and Happy New Year to all out there. Bye bye. Oh, I uh, <laughs> I just forgot to actually try it with a lens on. So I will uh, just put my 24-7 T on and see if it's uh, actually do something. Hmm. Yeah, I try to focus and try to focus. Well, I will just try to pointed at something. Um, something like there and take a picture. Well it's actually working. And if I try to see the viewing buttons you see and if we have some I like there, yeah, everything is actually working. So <laughs> that's, um, wow, I'm happy. So see you, bye bye.